it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm going to take you through, from start to finish, a per perfect curl pour. We're gonna do a monochromatic. I'm also going to mix up a paint, and that's the paint that we're gonna be using. So, we have Golden Gag 800. I have it in here. This is a Liquitex pouring medium. Uh, with the gray label. That's the one you want, the regular one. We have Flood Flow Draw. This Golden Gack 100 and the Liquitex Pouring Medium. If you have this, the Golden Gloss Pouring Medium, you can use this instead of these two. So you can use this product instead of the two of those. I just happen to have the two of those. Now, we are going to use the Soft Body Acrylic 2021, the yucky stuff with the apple barrel. This is the Bare Satin Enamel Deep Base 7300. We are also going to use the Decorate Satin Enamel in pure white to get the maximum amount of pearls. And I have put the thick Bare 7300 untinted in these containers. We're gonna mix everything into this container However, it'll take it right to the top. Then we're gonna do it. We have Modern Masters Venetian Blue, which this stuff works, guys. If you really want to get a pearl pour, this Venetian Blue is really good. And I always doctor it up with a little Prussian Blue and paints gray. Also, so, if you don't have the Apple Barrel, the Soft Body Acrylic, and then the Satin Enamels, you can use the Bare 7050 Pure White, but you won't get the same kind of cells and pearls. I just wanted to let you know that. So, here's our container. We are going to start with the Bare 7300. We are going to put, this is a two ounce cup. We're going to put two ounces in there. Come on, baby, come on. That's two ounces. That goes in the bottom. So we got two ounces of that. We're gonna take two ounces of the soft body. This is relatively easy, guys. Two ounces. I'm gonna use the same one. I don't wanna I don't wanna use up all these things. This is the apple barrel white. It's very thick stuff, I'll, I will admit. Um, it's a brand new container. It's very, very thick. There we go, apple barrel. So we're gonna take that same container. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. And just put the two ounces of apple barrel in there. Whoopsie. Two, two satin enamel, two soft body acrylic white, two apple barrel white. We're gonna do one ounce of the satin enamels. So I'm just gonna stir it up half. So half of the two ounce. Now, we want an ounce of each of the GAC 800 and the Liquitex pouring medium. Actually, I think I probably half an ounce. We wanna fill this up, so yeah, it is an ounce. So we're gonna put them both together. Doesn't make any difference. So we've got an ounce of the Liquitex and an ounce of the GAC. Oop. And then we're going to put that in. What did I do with my stick? Oh, there it is. Okay, it is gonna fit in here. I don't have to worry about that. So now we wanna add the water. But before we do that, this is paint, Zinsser Paint Booster. This is an optional one. This gives really crisp, um, I've found really crisp um, pearls. So I have 
decanted it into this little bottle here. And this is how much you need, guys. It's just, it's ridiculous. See that it's, it's up to here. That's like maybe a teaspoon. That's it. It's not a lot. You don't need a lot of it, but it does make a difference, I guess. To me, it does. Um, you can choose to use it or not use it. I only put four ounces of Floetrol. I think I need four more ounces. That's double, double the paint. There we go. Yes. I knew there was missing something. So eight ounces of Floetrol to four ounces of paint. Now, if you were doing this with the, um, with the bare 7050 white satin enamel, you would only need, to, you'd need four ounces of paint and eight ounces of Floetrol. Now, I have, this might fill up. It might be just the right amount. I think not, because I usually put six ounces of water in. It's four to six ounces, I know that. So let's just see. So here is six ounces of water. Put a little bit at a time, mix it up. So basically, if you wanted to take the, sat, the deco art satin enamels out, then you would add four ounces or three ounces of satin enamel deep base, the 7300. It's four to six ounces, guys. Seriously, if you're making it in this exact measurement, it's four to six ounces of water. If you might think it's too thin, it's not too thin. If you think it's too thin, you probably need a little bit more water. <laughs> it's just how it goes. See so you know how it's coming off the stick nice now? That's what you want. So we're gonna, it's still not ready. See, look it. It's, there's still, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's still a trace. So, we don't want a trace. Trace not. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. No. It's the wind. It's been really windy here, guys.
also giving a little bit of a trace on top. So this is where we're getting really close to the edge here. Leave it on the edge. <laughs> All right, I know, I won't quit my day job. Oh, that's right, I'm kind of out of a job right now anyway. <laughs> I love painting. You know, this is really such, and every, anybody who's out there suffering from depression or anxiety, or this is such a great outlet for that. It really is. And I'm gonna get you some pearls. That's about it. You can kind of sort of see, whoopsie, a little tiny bit. It's, it's funny, when I put the stick in, it's, um, it's taking up that room that I need for my water. <laughs> it's still a little thick, believe it or not. That's a little thick. So, this is gonna be hard to do. I'm determined to get it into the 16 ounces. Well, it's probably over 16 now, it's probably 18. Whoopsie, what did I get in there? Yeah, that's about right. This is a true mixing video, up close and personal. I have two cameras today. I hope they still both work. When we go to do the, the pearl pour, I'm gonna put you on fast time lapse just because I'm not gonna to touch it. I'm just gonna let the pearls do its thing. It's gonna be a monochromatic and I just, it's gonna be similar to one of the first ones I ever did. And that is the consistency you want. See how it's going right in? Pretty much right in. Now, if you hold the, the stick up here, of course it's gonna look like it's, it's you know, you have to keep it relatively close. It feels like, it feels like half and half, not milk, not heavy cream, half and half. <laughs> I don't even drink coffee, so. There we go. There it is. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes to let it um, let all the bubbles come out, and I'll be back. Here's the Venetian blue. Ugh. I'm just going to. It's a really, really beautiful shade of blue, but it's really super bright. So I'm putting like about mm, an ounce and a half in the bottom. It's going to be plenty for one painting. I'll probably end up with lots more actually. So I'll put that aside. And I'm going to mix up my color before I put in the rest of the ingredients. So here's the Payne's Gray. Here's the Prussian Blue. It's my usual for this one. And then stir. Should make it a nice navy blue. And actually, at times, I have put bone black in as well. And I think I will. Just to give it a little bit more depth, a little deeper color. I could put the Thalo Turquoise in as well. So, the Ma Modern Masters paints are, um, they're like a craft paint, so they're a little bit um, thinner, or they're obviously thinner than the heavy body. They're thinner than your tube paints too. So you need less water. So that's the color I've got. Let me see here. You know, I just washed my hands. You would never know it. Okay, so GAC, here we go. Little tiny bit, that's it. There's no real measurement. It's just, just a, a splash. 
that's just to keep the paints because they're going to be so thin to keep them together what do you think I think that'll be pretty okay now we're going to add our flow troll so we add about double the amount of flow troll to paint yeah this is a lot of paint I always use this color so it's not going to go to to, um, to waste at all and I think at this point now I'm thinking I want to add a little more huh. where's my black I put it back you can mess around with your colors you know I encourage that because it, it makes it truly your own. So, it's a little bit deeper. This Phoenician blue, it works. Guys, for pearls, it really works. Watch me make a layer out of myself. This is actually a lot of pigment for this. Don't need that much. Oh, now it's a nice shade. So now I'm gonna add my water. See how it's kind of liquidy? Now I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time. Every paint has a different density, which means, you know, I don't even think I have the other camera in focus or in uh, frame anyways. But it'll come in handy for when I do the... So it's still thick. More water. So, oh, by the way, I do, did use four ounces because it was right at two ounces. Um, so it was four ounces of water to the, the white mixture, to the uh, pearl mixture. Now this is getting really where I want it. See, I poured the water in too quick. It's all right though, it will come back. Modern Masters are the about the only metallics that pearl well. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's pretty darn close. Just a little bit more. You want your paints nice and thin. And I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do a test tile and we're going to do a drip test. Now when I do the test tile, I'm gonna come back and do it because these paints are still kind of bubbly. They're very bubbly. Tiny bubbles. All right. About the same size dots. Okay, there we go. This is like, oh, it's such a pretty color. It just shimmers so much. All right, right here. And right there. That's what's, and there we go. I'll be back after these commercial messages. guys I think the test tile worked out pretty well I'm going to prepare our canvas by the way look at that beautiful pearls just gorgeous 4 by 24 let's not bump that so make sure you get rid of these make sure your kids or your pets do not get near them not good 
Okay. So we're just going to take this off. Oh, I love that smell. And there it is, 24 by 24. I don't know which way I'm going to be editing this. So here's the tape I use. It's um, uh, Sharp Lines Multi-Surface by Scotch and it's 20, number 2093. It's a perfect size for these um, canvases. You wanna make sure you get to the edge. Don't worry if you get don't get right straight to the end of it. Make sure though you're getting it along the edge. Press it down, take your scissors, cut it, take the back of your scissors, and do that just to keep it down. And I'm just gonna do the rest. This is um overlapping it. It doesn't have to go right to the edge, see? Um, overlapping it, making sure it gets over to this side. Keep your finger here so that it doesn't get on the outside canvas part of it, which it did. There we go. It's okay if there's a little tiny bit of canvas showing there on the back. We can try to be perfect, but it's art. None of it's perfect. Okay. All right, this is where I'm going to fast forward. water bottle, spray the back. Make sure you get into the corners. It's gonna make your canvas nice and taut. Now, you can put pins here. I like to use my hands-off handle, which I have right here. I haven't even cleaned them. I'm just putting them right back on. <laughs> probably recommended that you clean them though. So to put these on, you just slip them in between and tighten them up. Not too tight. There we go. Oops. There we go. Now when you turn it over, ah, nice. And you want to take your level and make sure it's level. I feel like I'm, miss I'm missing some light in here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, a little. So, there we go. You can use the screws underneath to get it level.
it usually takes a little bit more than 16 ounces for a 24. This is meant for a 20 inch canvas, but because it's thin paint, it could be less, we're hoping. So I am going to flood my canvas. All right, y'all ready? Wait a minute, am I in frame up here? There we go. I feel like there's light missing or something. Nope, I guess not, I got them all on. All right, so I am going to start moving this paint around to cover the canvas. See how because it's so um, so thin, we're not gonna need as much Because, oh, all right, because it was, um, it's a larger canvas that I'm used to. I didn't go corner to corner. I went all the way around first, which is probably what I should do anyways, just to save the paint. I am part of the Save the Paint Foundation after all. I'm gonna bring it back and actually I can just bring it right over here. Yeah, we got enough paint. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> and I'll use the paint that's on the mat to do my sides. Now, once it gets to that corner and it's off, now you're gonna to wanna to bring it back to the center. And it looks like my sides are taken care of. So I'm looking at the paint to see if there's any rivers coming down. And I'm going to make sure it's absolutely centered. Check. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I can always get my corners after. Oh, this I need to tip over here. Actually, the corners, sides. You can just grab paint from the sides or from the mat. All right. Now this is the simple part. You won't believe it. It is so easy, guys. I really want you to succeed in this. It's so easy. So we've got our paint. It's still kind of bubbly. Oh well, too bad, so sad. And I'm just going to pour it in the middle. That's it. Still have a little bit left. And now I'm going to tilt it off. You want to tilt a lot off and then bring it back. Oops, sorry. It's really an annoying sound. See how it's just running down the canvas? We have to get that paint off. It cannot stay on. So 16 ounces was plenty for a 24 by 24. It's going to rain. Always got to make sure you got enough paint up. I'm going to take it actually off this way. Now I know that there's some wonky cells there, but they might, um, they might arrange themselves. Okay. And then we come back. 
feel like I've got too much paint on here. You don't need a lot, that's for sure. I'm gonna take these wonky cells off the bottom and then let the rest stay. Look at those beautiful curls happening at the top. And this Venetian blue, it does it, guys, it really does. Okay, so now I have to move it this way. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. All right. So I'm going to put you on time lapse now, both of them. So, this is easy, guys. You can do this. Anybody can do this. Um, the paints that work best with this are Liquitex Basics, Modern Masters, um, DecoArt. Um, I would never use DecoArt Metallics. They don't work and they create a mess. So look at the, the shading there. I just love these pearls, they're so pretty. And this Venetian blue, I swear you can almost use spit as your pouring medium and it'll, it'll pearl. Um, so if you want a good pearl pour, the Venetian blue from Modern Masters is really good. And then you can, you know, you can even make it purple if you want so pretty yeah I had to soak up some of the center um, mainly because I wanted to get some um, negative space in there but when I did that it pulled up the white from underneath even though I put the, the blue on top that was the only thing that right there that stayed blue and uh, yeah look at that shimmer right but these pearls, just, oh, just loving them. So, um, this is start to finish. Hey guys. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> well, I don't recommend putting your paintings on top of the washer and dryer. Um, you know, it, it's kind of funny though, because I wanted to create some negative or some dark space in the center of this anyway. So I'm gonna go in and, and paint in some um, some dark, but um, it kind of looks cool. I mean, it's not horrible, but these pearls, oh my gosh, they turned out beautiful. So um, yeah, I'm gonna continue. Yeah, the saga continues. I'll be back.